Today's challenge is to replace the old uh, keypad that's in one of these nice uh, 2500 phones uh, from the 1970s, uh, the mechanical keypad. This one has the coils and it actually has mechanical buttons. I'll just demonstrate here a little bit. You can probably see the lever. See this lever coming in there? Mechanical. So basically this actually will still work to a certain extent if you're kind of lucky. Uh, it will work on existing old phone lines which will continue to work and have been working correctly for the last 90 years. The problem is these coils do age and the whole unit ages and today's uh, phone systems expect a, a digital uh, tone to come out of it. So what you end up having to do to use one of these old phones is to replace the keypad portion with the electronic uh, version that has the tones. Uh, I mentioned this is one of the uh, Western Electric 2500 phones. This is the case and uh, you've probably seen that before. Why would anybody want to use one of these? Uh, scratch your head. Uh, the thing is the, the tone of it, the loudness is so good, you know. That's a nice sound. And uh, so anyway, here's the handset. Boy, bing. So that gives you a really, uh, heavy, it's heavy too. So if you put it on something, it doesn't go and go sliding off into the oblivion. And what we're going to do now is we're going to walk through how in order and to replace the wiring because there are different wires. There are two wires on this thing that don't come on the new one. And they are a reticulated blue wire that you can see here. Let me pick it out. Reticulated blue. And then there's a white wire. Okay, so what I recommend you do before you do anything is to take snapshots. I'm going to include... Uh, your phone may be somewhat different. They usually are. Make sure you capture with your cell phone or some camera exactly where the existing wires are, just in case you had to fall back. But of course, you're not going to fall back to this. This is basically over. It was over a long time ago. This phone has a 1970 date on it. We've got the new keypad installed, and it does work. The keypad works outgoing calls. Uh, we get ring incoming, but something went wrong. And when we remove this old keypad, apparently there's a hidden connection that we don't, we're not apprised of. And so what we need to do is kind of talk about that at this time to make sure that when you get through putting the phone back together, that you don't suddenly lose your audio because it was gone after I did the work. So the two wires in question are the reticulated uh, blue and white and the white. Now, I don't know what model of phone you may have. I'm talking only about the 2500. So over here where the, it says S, this reticulated blue wire was connected to that terminal using the old dialer and it's white wire was connected over here to the GN. I assume that means ground. Okay, it says GN next to it. I just want to point out something on the uh, coding here. If we can see it, you see a GN on that board. It's got a blue wire. Now that blue wire replaced the white wire and went over there, but there's no corresponding reticulated blue wire to go over to the S. And if it doesn't do that, you don't get any dial tone. Or you don't get any audio period, really. I mean, I could hear a faint amount. There's another little question in here, this E2. There's no E2 anywhere on that block, but I deduced that the E2, if I can get a hold of that wire, goes over to that second terminal in there that is marked, I believe, with a T. It's hard to see here. Yeah, T. I think you can now see it down there, T. Okay, and there's another wire connected to that that goes off this way. That's it. 
And I've already tested outgoing and incoming calls working just fine, but we're going to reassemble and get everything back together. And oh, I almost forgot the cure. The cure for this problem is a little jumper wire that you're going to make. Get yourself down to the hardware store or your favorite electronic supply store, whichever comes first, and make yourself a little jumper like this. Connect this end, or one end, to the S terminal, there. And the other end is going to go to that GN, which I assume means ground. And that's it. As soon as that's in there, you're going to get plenty of nice audio, and it should work. This is a pretty darn good project. I've gotten a, a very nice heavy-duty phone out of it for not that much effort. Uh, this was 15 bucks plus shipping. So let's get it back together and test it. So we had to switch cameras because uh, I'm going to use the cell phone and the, this phone going back and forth. First, let's see. You hear the dial tone? Let's see if you can hear the dial tone. I guess you can't. Okay, so let's dial. So that's working. Hang up on myself there. Alright, so then let's try it the other way. Let's go from the cell phone to the home phone. It should ring beautifully. There you go. Beautiful old-fashioned ring. Hello. Well, that takes care of it. So, you can do it. It's just a matter of do you really want to. I had to switch to another camera, which wasn't as good as you could tell. And uh, we're completely through. This is some piece of equipment. I've been looking at it. Uh, a good old-fashioned 1950s style 60s early 60s style heavy duty you know to manufacture it it's heavy the materials that are in this those heavy duty non-board component type look at the, those two capacitors and those coils must have cost a fortune to make you know that's how things were made back in the in the, the 50s and later even later this i'm not sure I, I don't know if this thing even works it may have that they said don't fool with it just replace it and uh, so that's what I did so that's it you can do it you can actually do it and and you'll have yourself a nice heavy-duty phone that works on standard phone lines I should make that point that a phone of this type will not work on any kind of Comcast or other uh, network type uh, VoIP I don't believe not without a converter and even then I don't know uh, regular phone lines will disappear so if you do this, you have, I don't know how many years. I'm not actually able to qualify how long it would last, but at least for the time being, if you're of that age group, you can do it. Alrighty, so long.